Welcome back. Now, I don't know if I could cover this last time, but... Uh, Devon asked us about if, if we could look, up, look out for a girl called Vienna Kev. Uh, it's, 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 as you said, it's his sister and... And we will look out for her. We'll, I'll do what I can, let's be, be, and we'll be back. So, let's finish exploring this hotel and... And do a, get us on to a m new mission. Now we've finished exploring the... the uh, Flotilla will be doing our first... Remote contact uh, response, so you click on here to... To, to get a pop-up. And this usually d does automatically, but this is one of the few times it doesn't. All set to go, I trust. Good, there is a lot to do. Your first target is already under attack by the Tal Shiar. There's no time to lose. Uh, and we get a plasma beam and a plasma turret. Very nice. That's the Mark IV. We don't e can't even equip that one yet. We'll keep it keep it to hand for the time being. Greet. Congratulations, Lieutenant. And we've just leveled up about half, half a dozen things. If we're going to have a chance at breaking away from Sila and the Tal Shiar, we need allies. There are a lot of little settlements like yours out there. We're in contact with some of them, but we're always reaching out to try to make new alliances. I've heard that a group of Romulans has taken up residence in a Sulaban Helix in the Beta Quadrant. I'd like you to visit them. Feel them out, help them if you can. But most of all, find out if they would be willing to join Datan in his search for a new homeworld. And... Yes, this time around we'll be picking up... Satra. And a plasma torpedo launcher. <laughs> and a special ship. Oh, very good. And also the Sullivan cell ship. Now this is, believe it or not, a similar item to two other... For, from the... Klingon story, the Klingon storyline, and the Federation storyline. So let's set this in. There we go. Greetings. I have new orders for you. So we've got a Superman Helix. Now. If you can see around here, there is no. There is some items missing. This system <laughs> changes, in, changes, but let's head to the Silver Helix now. So we we are arriving at the Silver Helix now. This is a uh, somewhat familiar thing for people from watching watching Star Trek Enterprise so let's go visit we've arrived at the helix but we're not the only ship here a tall Shi'ar warbird is approaching from the direction of the primary structure they haven't raised shields yet but their weapons are online wait they're hailing us your orders okay answer the hail to the person in command. Be advised, you are in violation of Tal Shiar Security Order 63-R. Your vessel is operating in this area without authorization. Identify yourself immediately, or your actions will be considered hostile. You don't want that kind of trouble. What authority could you have possibly out here? The Tal Shiar has the authority to track down terrorists that threaten the Romulan Star Empire, no matter where they try to hide. And don't bother with deception. Our records indicate a warbird with your ship's designation was decommissioned years ago. We've already identified you. Stealing military property is a serious crime. Care to explain, Commander? Okay. Close the channel, and my shields, and... Warning. 
Ooh, that definitely did a lot of damage. Boom! Okay, let's cut the hail helix. We plead for mercy. There are only civilians on the helix. We don't have much more than we can scavenge from the cell ships. As we told the other Tal Shiar, there are no terrorists here. The Cabal are long gone. Take whatever scrap you need, but please stop taking our people. Tell me about more about the Helix. The Helix originally had hundreds of connected cell ships that could support up to 3,000 people. It and other similar stations were constructed after the destruction of our homeworld. This Helix was abandoned decades ago for unknown reasons. My people are nomadic, and so we've returned to salvage what we can. So far, we've survived by trading scrap from the station for supplies. We plead for mercy. There are only civilians on the Helix. We don't have much more than we can scavenge from the cell ships. As we told the other Tal Shiar, there are no terrorists here. The Cabal are long gone. Take whatever scrap you need, but please stop taking our people. We're not here to rob you. Then why are you here? We don't have much to trade, and we don't want any trouble. We're looking for Romulan refugees. There are a few Romulan refugees hiding within the Helix. They said they needed temporary shelter and would be leaving soon. We meant no harm. How are we to know they are wanted terrorists? Please just take them with you and go. We're not with the Tashia. Your actions speak for your true goals. If you help us by repairing the Helix arm structures, then we'll help you get the refugees to your ship. But hurry, we're in jeopardy every moment you remain here. On our way. And let's get flying. We've got three uh, arms to repair. And it's basically fly up and press F for your of X key of your repair. Your Tal Shiar have entered the system. Please help us. And it's perfect time to clock up. I mean, this ship's uh, going. It's a bit, bit true. It's not as. Get this jump on the, one of these could be quite nice. I'm going to set weapon power to full. For the Empire! Let's get this uh, ram repaired. One more to go. As soon as Delta is connected, we can negotiate a transfer. All right. All right, Delta. More Talshiar ships are entering the area. Them. Don't die for your crime, Rebel. And yes, when the ships go pop, they will damage anything around it. Friendly off well. And we got damage there. are restored. We've located the refugees. They are being moved to a centralized location so you can get a transporter lock. 
We've explained the situation to them, but a representative for the group is asking to speak with you. On screen? Kayan informs me that we're being transported to your vessel. We realize that we can't stay on the Helix, but we have no intention of being forced into servitude. The Tall Shi'ar already destroyed our home. All we want is for you to leave us on an uninhabited world, or some place we can hide and try to rebuild our lives. It was safe with Ditan, you have my word. We've heard of Ditan. We've also heard rumors that he's plotting a revolt against the Tall Shi'ar. Going to him sounds more dangerous than staying here. Would you stay and be captured? I know I'm out of options. That doesn't mean I have to like it. I don't know why the Tal Shi'ar are abducting our families, but we can't afford to lose anyone else. How about I make you a deal? You personally guarantee that my friends will be safe at Datan's fleet, and I'll work for you. And? I've served as a science officer on multiple civilian vessels. I can help you. I just... I can't run anymore. If I need to fight the Tal Shi'ar to keep my friends safe, that's what I'll do. Okay, before we be bored, is anyone called Rihanna Kev in your group? Rihanna Kev? No, I, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you. Pre prepare to be in bored. And we need to get a bit closer. All the refugees are aboard, but there's more trouble. A tall Shi'ar battleship, the IRW Koval, has entered the system. They're hailing us, and they're asking for you by name. Remember, they're not here to be friends. Alright, put them on screen. You are ordered to stand down. You are wanted for questioning by the tall Shi'ar. Lower your shields and surrender your vessel and crew, or prepare to face the consequences. Never, the tall Shi'ar corrupt. Your actions speak for themselves. You'll answer for the destruction you've caused today. Remember, you were given a chance to surrender. Close the channel. Pa pa power up. I recommend using our cloaking device to get close enough for a sneak attack. And, uh, and indeed. And I'm going to get us into position where. Cover that most Kovar's weapons are not effective. Yes, that's it. And if this ship was a, was a, was a tier six, a high, was a tier six or tier five ship, the I could take, we could take advantage of something else. Well, there's only one more thing to worry about. Thank you for taking the refugees. Tell them we're sorry. We simply have no way to protect them. Hopefully they'll find refuge with your fleet. Our best hope now is to cooperate with the Tal Shi'ar and tell them that you have taken the refugees. Do, do what you have to do. We can't offer much, but I'll tell other Sulavan that Ditan's fleet is standing up to the Tal Shi'ar. I'm also sending you the contact for a friendly local trader in case you need salvage or have goods to sell. But please, keep our involvement discreet. And please go. Leave now before more Tal Shiar arrive. Thank you, Kayan. Kayan closed the channel. He's right. They'll be lucky if the Tal Shiar let them live. We should leave and report back to Tamer. Some of the refugees we brought aboard may have starship experience. If we're expecting more trouble, we'll need some help on the bridge. Indeed. Let's go. We'll give the refugees a good home here. They'll be safe, and we'll do all we can to help them. This is just the start. We won't stop until we're on a new world. One of our own. And, as usual, we get the uh, usual experience. Experience in lithium, as as the guy mentioned, you'll be be able picking up a a starship personal com call. This will bring in a bring in 
bring in a f rating which allows you to access your bank and your and your and your the exchange and your and your mail. This is very much a similar to the Azure com code on the and I can't remember what the KDF version of this one is at the moment, but the there is a KDF version of of this of this well Klingon and plays. Satra is a is a somewhat of a fine woman in Bridge Officer. When I say fine, she's got she's basically got the got woman operative, which allows you to get get some improved stuff for later on but but as a Roman captain you'll be or in the Roman captain you'll be able to get better ones later but I'm not going to uh, I'm going to cover that later on but then but shield comes with hazard emitters one which allows us to heal out some damage Protective beam two, which allows us to hold a enemy enemy d down, but we lose the ability to cloak for, or that, and they lose the ability to cloak. Tachyon beam is a shield, a sh a quick shield damage, but drain uh, shields, and you get a bit bit of bonus to us to, to us, but to our own shields. Then there is gravity well two. This is the the ugly. Uh, Middle middle step chart of the um, of gravity wealth. The gravity wealth because it says it's in the commander slot, which is the fourth slot along. This gravity wealth two and three is share the slot. You usually want to get three is three if you can. And so that's basically meh. And uh, but but but. Sasha is pretty decent on the ground. She's she's a plasma weapon specialist, which means that if you give give her plasma plasma weapon, she'll do a lot of damage with it. She's also has does brilliant with stasis and hold skills, which she sadly has not got any at the moment. And she also has some as PKF, which allows her to survive a little bit longer. Something which you need to do when you're a when you use a when you're when the science is used, half time is used as a healing setup, and uh, f f first uh, first bridge of skill skill on the ground is medical strike order, a end of heal, tachyon harmonic, a that area sh shield ground shield damage, pretty decent, vascular regenerator, another heal and cures some ones the bleed status. And then, then the e hyponic radiation, which is a AOE damage DLT, uh, damage over time. But none of those are particularly brilliant, but not particularly bad. Then we've got the plasma torpedo. It gives us a slight boost to, to what we get at the time, but then we've just got this is we're still in the tutorial, really. So let's pick it up. Let's pick. Pick it up, and next time we'll probably be doing something, something else for Tamar. But then, next time, then uh, see you next time, man. Make sure better.